If you are consuming red meat, then you are participating in a satanic ritual. So allow me to educate you about cannibalism, but more specifically the etymology of the word. English and Romanized Latin are both rooted in Hebrew, which is actually the Canaanite or Phoenician language, therefore the Hebrews today are actually speaking the Canaanite language. Now the word cannibal is a combination of the two words canna and Baal, because the people from Cana were cannibals who worshipped Baal. These Satanists would burn the bodies of people, but mostly children's bodies, and this was done as a sacrifice, as an offering to their God who loved the smell of burning flesh. And they would do this on an altar before a gold statue of a bull called Baal. The bull was always known to rip open a lion's mane in the wild. It is by far one of the most deadliest and most powerful creatures on the earth. The word Baal comes from the Hebrew word El, which are the two Hebrew letters Aleph, the bull, and Lamed, the staff, which together means the strong leader. And he is even called Moloch, which means king. The bullhorn lasts forever, and that's why they use them to make weapons and instruments. Just like a bull's horn lasting forever, these elites remake themselves like a snake shedding its skin. They have new names and new disguises, but they are always pushing the same regime, deception and to take over. In my previous video, people were saying that the Baphomet is not satanic. But in the satanic temple, Baphomet is currently being worshipped. And this is another form of the elites shedding their skin. From Baal to Baphomet, they are one and the same. These world governments make us fight fictitious wars that only become real when we step foot on the ground. Now these are all just examples of Revelation 13, 15. And he had the power to give life unto the image of the beast. The image of the beast should both seek and cause to be killed as many would not worship the image of the beast. Now this goes back to my video on manifestation and how you manifest your reality. This is what they're manifesting. They're manifesting this demon. They're manifesting these wars. They're manifesting governing your mind. All religions are paying homage to a specific planet, which in Greek were called primordial gods because they represent emotions and characteristics within us. Christian churches are usually facing the east to catch the sun rise, as it always rises in the east every single morning. And the Muslims pray to the west, which is supposedly the direction of the Kaaba, which itself is homage to Saturn, the black cube, which represents matter. He's also called Kronos, Father Time, aka the Lord of the Rings. And that's because Saturn is very slow in his journey through the zodiacs. Therefore, he's slow and grumpy like Ebenezer Scrooge. But the main reason why Muslims pray to the west is because they are worshipping the setting or dying sun. The Egyptians built most of the tombs and pyramids, including the Valley of the Kings on the west side of the Nile River, because that is where death happens. When the sun sets, it is red. And that is the concept of Horus versus Set in Egypt. Set was the red deity that always wins the battle every night. He was the sun that sets. They worship the opposite of the rising sun, which is Jesus. And they worship the dying son, which is Kronos or Jesus when he is crucified because that is when Jesus becomes one with his father, aka Horus joining Osiris. Horus is the morning sun. Ra is the afternoon sun. Set and Atum are the evening suns and Osiris and Amun are the midnight suns. Now, I wouldn't call any ritual a pagan ritual. I would say that all rituals are perverted rituals because they are mirroring concepts of what is not meant to be taken literal. They make images and idols and bring them to life for your salvation. When your own salvation is actually within yourself, you do not need to offer anything to God unless he was a physical person, but God is within you. So making an offering is you meditating every day or fasting or being your highest self. Do not be a follower of Jesus. Be a disciple like Jesus. Discipline yourself and ascend to the highest. If you believe that Jesus is literally your shepherd, you will be herded like a sheep. In the golden age, everyone was a ruler because we were all powerful people living in the abundance of nature. Unfortunately, this way of life has failed. And as the old world ended, the new world of meat eating and hunting societies was born. We were all vegan and we became dependent on meat. And the ones who control meat quickly became powerful rulers. Thus, the patriarchal system of today was created along with classes and governments, which allows people to distribute things how they want to instead of nature which distributes everything properly and efficiently with no biasness or prejudice. When it comes to nature, there is no scarcity when it comes to food. Fruit is literally falling off the tree and rotting because nature is abundant. The word matriarchy comes from Ma'at in Egypt, and she holds the golden scales and represents Mother Earth because she's the only one that can actually make equal measurements, which is what a footstick or a ruler does. The golden age is the Garden of Eden, 
where we are abundant. And the dark age is what we're currently in. And that's where patriarchy rules. And it will end the moment we end the last pope. Because the pope in Spanish is papa, which means father, which is the basis of patriarchy. Matriarchy is matter, a.k.a. space. And patriarchy is patterns, a.k.a. time. Satan, Baal, Baphomet, they are collective. They are the opposers. And they are controlling this system. And that's what I've been trying to tell you since day one. And when you're consuming meat, it puts you in your reptilian mind. So they can govern you and control you. Okay? This is the truth, whether you want to accept it or not.